How are things going? The wise guys are now in session. We're going to talk about metric units, specifically converting temperatures. Converting degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. The Fahrenheit scale is often associated with the imperial or English measurement system. On the other hand, the Celsius scale is often associated with the metric system. To convert from, her from Fahrenheit sorry, to Celsius, use the following formula. We want Celsius, so degrees Celsius, degree Celsius will equal Fahrenheit that we know, subtract 32, and the answer is multiplied by 5 ninths. Okay. As it says here, if necessary, review the videos on integers and fractions before working with this concept. You need to be pretty familiar with integers, plus and minus numbers, and fractions. Okay, So here goes. We have 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We want to express it in, in degrees Celsius. Start with the formula. Degrees Celsius then is equal to degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 ninths. Degrees Celsius is equal to plus 50 minus 32 times 5 ninths. What you're doing is substituting the value for Fahrenheit into that position in the formula. So degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 50 minus 32 is 18 times 5 ninths. You know when you're working with fractions, you can cancel common factors. Divide by 9 is 1, divide by 9 is 2. And 2 times 5 is 10 over 1 or 10 degrees Celsius. And you know 50 Fahrenheit is not particularly warm outside. It's a pleasant enough fall day, but it's not hot. 10 degrees Celsius is your corresponding Celsius measure. Here's another example. If we have minus 21 Fahrenheit, how can we express that in Celsius? Well, once again, use your formula. Degrees Celsius is equal to degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 ninths. Okay? Ready. Degrees Celsius is minus 21 minus 32 times 5 nines. Substitute your Fahrenheit value into that position in the formula. Minus 21 minus 32 is minus 53 times 5 nines is minus 53 times 5 divided by 9. Minus 53 times 5 Wait a minute. Minus 53 times 5 is 265. Minus 265 divided by 9. Divided by 9 is 29.444. 29. I'm repeating 4. We'll round it up to 29.4 degrees Celsius. And it should be negative. All right? A negative divided by a positive is a negative. Minus 29.4 degrees Celsius. Pause the program and try these on your own. We're converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Remember to use the formula. Okay, let's just remind ourselves of the formula. How did you make out with those? Remember that degrees Celsius is equal to degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 ninths. Okay, so if we have minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit, degrees Celsius will equal minus 10 minus 32 times 5 ninths, which is minus 42 times 5 divided by 9. Minus 42 times 5 is equal to minus 210 Minus 210 divided by 9 
23.333, repeating 3, so we'll round it to 0.33, minus 23.33 degrees Celsius. The next one, plus 10 Fahrenheit is equal to what Celsius? Refer back to the formula. Degrees Celsius is degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 ninths. So let's do it. Degrees Celsius is equal to plus 10 minus 32 times 5 ninths is equal to plus 10 minus 32 is minus 22 times 5 over 9 which is equal to 22 times 5 minus 110 divided by 9, which is equal to 12.22. We're getting a lot of repeating decimals because we're always dividing by 9. When you divide by 9, that's a good way to get a repeating decimal. So this should be a negative 12.22 degrees Celsius. Negative 12.22 degrees Celsius. And finally, minus 5 degrees Fahrenheit is what Celsius? Okay, once again using the formula, degrees Celsius is degrees Fahrenheit minus 32, minus 5 minus 32 times 5 over 9, which is equal to minus 37 times 5 over 9 minus 185 over 9 or 20.5555 repeating 5 once again it's negative degrees Celsius 20.56 negative degrees Celsius. How did you make out? Remember those negative signs, you have to keep track of those. Okay. Moving on, you can also convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. <clears throat> and to do that, you reverse the procedure. If you know Celsius, you can calculate Fahrenheit by using this formula. Degrees Fahrenheit is equal to degrees Celsius times 9 fifths. Notice the invert. Once you calculate that, you add 32. So for example, 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, well if we want Fahrenheit, we plug in the value for Celsius, multiply by 9 fifths, and then add 32. We can cancel. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 100 divided by 5 is 20. So Fahrenheit is equal to 20 times 9, 180 plus 32, which is equal to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And you know that 100 degrees Celsius is the temperature at which water boils. 212 degrees Fahrenheit is also the temperature at which water boils. In this scale, it's 212. In the Celsius scale, it boils at 100. Okay, here's another one to try. Minus 40 degrees Celsius is how many degrees Fahrenheit? Once again, here's our formula. Let's give it a try. Degrees Fahrenheit, substitute the value that you have for the C, minus 40 times 9 fifths, and then add 32. We can cancel the 5 and the minus 40. This becomes minus 8 and 1. So minus 8 times 9 plus 32 equals minus 72 plus 32. What do you notice about this? It's equal to minus 40. Isn't that interesting? At minus 40, Celsius and Fahrenheit are equal. Minus 40 degrees Celsius is equal to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a bit of trivia for those that are interested in such things. Okay, you apply the formula. That's what you have to do, folks. Memorize the formulas, make sure you're very familiar with them and you don't forget them. 
and make sure you remember your operations with fractions and integers and from there you should have no trouble. Okay, here's your formula. Here are some for you to try. Okay, how did you make out? Remember that you can pause, rewind, and review parts of the video in order to get the information you need to do these questions. Okay, to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, this is your formula. Degrees Fahrenheit is equal to degrees Celsius times 9 over 5, and then add 32. So for this one, degrees Fahrenheit is equal to degrees Celsius is 45 times 9 fifths, add 32. Okay, let's cancel. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 45 divided by 5 is 9. Okay, so it equals 9 times 9 is 81 plus 32, which is 81 plus 32, let me just check, I should know this, plus 32 is 113, and we are now in degrees Fahrenheit, which is a hot, hot day. And as you know, 45 degrees Celsius is also a hot, hot day. That's what they have in the desert in Arizona in the summer. Okay, minus 62 degrees Celsius, which is what they have in Churchill, Manitoba in the winter. Use the formula, plug in the values. Degrees Fahrenheit is equal to degrees Celsius times 9 over 5, and then add 32. So minus 62 times 9 is 558 minus 558 divided by 5, and then add 32. Minus 558 divided by 5 is 111.6 minus plus 32. If you have a negative and you're adding 32, you're adding a positive number, your answer will be a smaller negative number, right? We're heading towards zero when we add. So this will be closer to zero than what we're starting with. So the way to calculate that is 111.6 minus 32, 79.6. And it's still negative, right? We only came up 32 degrees. We're still on the negative side, but we're closer to zero. Minus 79.6 degrees. Now whether it's ever been recorded as that cold in Churchill, I'm not sure, but that would be a mighty cold day. Maybe Antarctica. Finally, minus 110 degrees Celsius. Now we're talking about chemistry labs. Use the formula. Degrees Fahrenheit is equal to degrees Celsius times 9 fifths and then add 32. Okay, we can divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 110 divided by 5 is 22 or minus 22. Okay, the question is now minus 22 times 9 add 32. Minus 22 times 9 is equal to 198. Minus 198 plus 32. Remember from your work with integers, right? We're starting at a, at a fairly good size negative amount and we're moving towards zero. So the way to calculate this is 198 subtract 32, which is 166. But remember, we haven't reached zero. We're still on the negative side. We're closer to zero. It's a smaller negative number, but it's still a negative number. Okay, minus 166 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. If you're straight with converting temperatures, good luck with that. Remember, you can review, you can rewind, review, practice, give yourselves a chance to learn it, memorize the formulas, and you should have no trouble. This has been a presentation of the Wise Guys.